Today we're going to learn how to draw a dandelion puff. Many of you have probably picked one of these up from outside and made a wish on them. Since it's the beginning of the school year, I thought it would be a great time to do a meditative drawing and think about our hopes and dreams for the school year. There's many different ways to draw the dandelion puff, and I'm going to show you a couple of them today. So the first one I've drawn, the nice long stem, and you draw that by making one line and then another line going parallel to that line, kind of like the lines on a road, and then you draw a circle on the top, and you're going to draw long lines coming out of it, kind of like sun rays, then smaller lines in between those long lines. Now on the ends, that's where you can get creative and do a lot of different things. So my first one I made kind of a U shape and then put a line in the middle. The second one I just did round circles on the ends of each of those lines. Now this last one I think I'm going to do the same long lines and then shorter lines in between and I'm going to do little sharpie dots on the ends. And when you do the sharpie dots don't press down too hard because you'll uh, press down the tip of your sharpie. So just lightly dot. But there's many other ways that you could draw the dandelion puff. So be creative. You can use one of my ideas or you can think of your own. And you're going to start on one side of the page and then work your way to the other side. And your last dandelion should have a couple of the pieces of the puff flying off of it. So it's like you're making a wish on that dandelion. So I'm drawing a couple of my little pieces flying away in the wind. All right, now I'm done with my Sharpie. I'm going to cap that and put it away, and I'm going to start my watercolor. Now, since we use Sharpie, we can go right over it with watercolor, and it won't affect our design at all. And you don't have to color it in realistically. It can just be any random colors in the background, nice and abstract and bright. And you can think about this while you're thinking about what you're hoping for for this school year thinking about your wishes for the school year while you're painting some beautiful colors in your background. Try and cover up all those white spots and let the colors blend together. Make sure you're washing your brush off in between colors so that you don't muddy up the colors for everyone at your table. And then when you're done you can put that on the drying rack. Have fun!